Good evening. I'm gonna wait here just for a couple minutes and let's see who we got that's gonna pop on. Uh, I am glad to be here on the Prima page. This month, I didn't think I was gonna to get to do my lives, but uh, because I'm packing and I'm moving, you guys. I'm packing my bags and looks like I'm heading out to Oklahoma. Uh, we go this week to try to sign on a home if we find one, if not, I'll be homeless in about two months. So <laughs> I'm sure I'll find something. Hey, as you come on, tell me who's on. Uh, let me know that you're on here, where you're from. I am in Franklin, Ohio right now, soon to be in close to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, but Christmas is right upon us, isn't it? I mean, we, you know, you, you get to October and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I got to start thinking of gifts and thinking of what I'm going to do for others for Christmas, right? Or maybe even for yourself. Hey, uh, I've been known to buy myself a Christmas present or two, right? <laughs> so anyhow, Prima has come out with some awesome purses. Have you guys seen them? Um, they're going to be at, uh, available, I think, at retailers near you, and they are leather. This is one of the purses. I love this type of a purse. Um, I love it because it's easy to get into. Um, they've got pockets and um, all kinds of stuff. And I'm thinking that this is going to go to my daughter. So I'm going to make her a gift. And it's real, really, really nice leather. I mean, it's like really soft, you guys. I mean, I really, really like it. And she's gonna like it. Uh, I think she'll use it a lot. So how are we gonna take this and gussy it up? It's pretty just the way it is. And many times we carry a bag that is kind of plain and it's just a couple colors or whatever. But Prima opens up a whole new way to use transfers um, because we are gonna use transfers on this. And I want to show you, it does have genuine leather tag. It just feels so good. And there's different kinds, you guys. There's um, the backpack, those of you who like a backpack type, this is going to go to my other daughter. I thought about keeping it, but she kind of liked it. So what do we do as moms? We always give them what they want, don't we? So this is gonna be done for her. Um, so I thought that tonight we would just kind of experiment a little bit on how to do purses. Now, sometimes you can go to like the Goodwill and pick you up a purse, and maybe it's a little worn in areas, but yet you like the construction of it, you like maybe the brand name of it, and you just wanna give it just a little bit of vamp and, and just a little bit of renewal. Let me know as you come on, I'd love to know who's watching, uh, and put any kind of comments uh, that you would like, um, any questions, and you know that after the broadcast, I always go back and I answer them if I don't see them before. Um, so, you know, you can pick up things everywhere. You can pick up things at the Goodwill, you know, resale shops, consignment stores, and we can give them just a little bit of love and um, make them into a beautiful gift for someone. Well, this one, is beautiful to begin with. So I'm gonna pull you guys down so you can see. You can see we have been crafting around here. My daughter has been making um, these really cool, uh, let me make sure you guys can see what we're doing here. And this is, this is my leather purse. And I'm gonna take the stuffing out of it because, and I'm gonna lift that up just a tad kind of keeps, I think it keeps going down. Let me see if I can tighten that somehow. I don't know if it can or not. Let me see, maybe this tightens it. There we go. All right, so it doesn't come down on me. There we go. All right, so we got this pretty purse, don't we? What are we gonna do with it? Well, there's a lot of things we could do with it. We could take Prima and Pasto paint. I could hand paint on this. And I might hand paint on one of them, uh, but I'm not going to on all of them. Uh, we'll have to see 
how the transfer goes. So my daughter, who I'm going to give this purse to, she's younger, and of course, I just kind of thought that the mechanical uh, transfer from Prima, um, it's really kind of cool. And to me, it kind of looks like something a young person would like, you know, kind of, kind of, I don't know, they kind of like different things, I think. And I just think that would look really, really pretty. I like how this gold kind of goes with the tannish gold that is on here. I thought that was really nice. So what I did before we came online, this is just a, a wood, let me get all this stuffing out of here. Um, this is just a wood um, square that I am going to see if I can place this in this purse. Okay, so that just kind of fits down in there. Well, why are you doing that for, Carolyn? Well, you know, we're normally using transfers on furniture, right? And so that's kind of a hard surface. Uh, hi, Sheila. Hi, Michelle. I'm glad you've joined. And Gwen, I'm so glad you're watching. Um, so that's going to give me a hard surface as I press down with my transfers. You could use a book. You could use this just kind of fit right in this purse. And I thought that was kind of nifty. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to show you, if I can find it. Let me see. Where did it go? right here here we go so I made a pattern before uh, because it's so easy to make mistake in your cutting and when you're cutting around here it's going to be a little tedious and even if you do cut it wrong they're very easy to fix but what I did was I just got a five by 11 and actually you guys, it almost fit perfect. I just had to tape a little thing here to make it fit uh, pretty perfect. Um, and so I cut these little tabs out. Let me show you this. I cut these little tabs out so that it would fit. And let's see if that works. Sometimes you think something's gonna work and it doesn't. So I cut these little tabs out thinking that they would kind of fit around this buckle type thing. And I, I did them to fit right here at the top of where that leather is. So that's pretty close, I think. Let me see, this one doesn't seem to wanna to go around, okay. So that's pretty close. So if I cut, the uh, idea is that if I cut, see now that one needs, feels, I feel like that needs to go down more even though I cut them up here. Okay, so, oh, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. This leather thing goes here. You can see if I follow my pattern, so my pattern is right. If I follow my pattern, my uh, my transfer should be okay. Even if you mess up, guys, these transfers are so easy to work with. So I get to lay out my transfer, and I'm thinking I'm thinking that would look pretty cool on that, don't you? Uh, hi, Megan. Glad to see you, and Carol, so glad you joined tonight. Okay, so, so the first thing I'm gonna do is lay my pattern here. And Prima always gives you that little, uh, little, you know, buffer right there, that little border there, and I'm not gonna need that tonight. So I'm going to try to cut this pattern. And you could use a razor blade, I guess, to cut this. I'm just gonna use scissors, and we'll see how good I do, you guys. Who knows, it's live TV. You know, sometimes if you're doing it by yourself, it it does perfect, but then once you go live, every, everything goes nuts. So let me cut that off. Right there, I'm just gonna follow that border line. 
me get this up here where you can see. I'm just following that border line. Cut that border off. Now, I'm going to get my pattern again now that I've got that cut. I'm gonna get my pattern again and I'm gonna lay it right here. I'm laying it right here. And so this is the line I want to cut here. And like I said, this is so forgiving. Don't worry too much about messing it up because it's always fixable. It really is. I guess I could, could have taped that a little bit. So I'm just trying to get just as close as I can. And the reason why I'm doing that, normally I wouldn't do it, but with this being on leather like that, um, I'm not for sure exactly how well that is going to adhere. I know it's gonna adhere well, but I just wanna make sure I've got that pretty close. Okay, that's just gonna save me as I go onto the purse from having to cut off all this excess. So just make you a pattern. That's all you gotta do. And I think that's pretty good. Let's see, let's check our pattern here. Okay, so to me that feels like right there, that's going up a little bit. So I'm just trimming that off. Okay, then I'm gonna cut these little lines here and I'm hoping, you guys, this will work. We'll see if it doesn't in a minute, won't we? Now, I normally start with my uh, bottom first or top first. It does not really matter which one you start with. But on this, this is going to be my easiest uh, play, placement, placing. So I will start there. I will start on that placing because I feel like, see, now I'm cutting this. And I'm going to cut it maybe a little farther than what my pattern is. Just because that's going to give me a little more leeway to work. And there you go. So here I've got my pattern. Let's pray it works, right? So I'm going to set this down. So you guys, well, I want to keep it to where you guys can see it. Alrighty then. So I normally take my backing totally off. Now Kitty, she's never in. My daughter let her in. She's an outside cat. <laughs> and of course, she wants to come up where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna lay this in here. So far, that's looking like that's working pretty good. This, ha this is kind of honestly a little more exacting. And I don't like these. Let me see if I can get this plastic up there. I don't care to lay over those tabs where the, um, let's see. Now that to me looks like it's going just a little crooked. So we'll get this on first. Let me get my hand in here. And I'm going to push this. Push, push, push. This is going to be a little more tedious, isn't it, than a regular transfer. And you know what? I've got more if this messes up. Hopefully it won't. But if it does, we've always got more. So I'm just going to rub that and get that to adhere onto this surface. Now, some of you might say, um, what do you seal it with? You would want to seal this, and my guess would be 
that I'm going to seal mine with um, wax. You know, a clear wax is what I will seal mine with. And I'm that surface, that board is giving me something that I can adhere to, that this adheres to, or makes it hard, not adheres to, but makes it hard. So you can kind of see as I'm rubbing. As you rub, you can see your you can see your pattern, your transfer transferring right onto this leather. Now, now that I have this kind of started here, let's get this started over here. And this is the first time I've done a purse, you guys. So I'll be learning right along with you. So that is awesome. I love these purses. They're just so awesome. And I think with these transfers on them, it's going to make them look pretty cool. So I want to actually make myself one. I haven't decided. Uh, I really love pink, and they do have a pink purse that I have, and it's kind of like this blue one. But there's so many transfers, guys. You would not be in the least bit um, have to, there's so many patterns that you could choose so many ways to do these. So many ways to do Man, that is really doing well. Real, real, real well on that leather. Wow, I mean really well on that leather. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I don't know, let me bring this up here so far so you guys can see. Look at that, isn't that cool? That is really adhering well. I am kind of impressed on this. Okay, so I have to make a decision here. I'm gonna cut down farther And I think I'm going to remove a little bit. Bell, get down. Um, I think I'm going to move a little bit. That's the thing about cats; is they want to get wherever you're at when they want. When you sh don't want them to, but then when you want them to, they ain't going to do nothing for you, are they? Okay. So I'm going to cut this down here. Let's see what we're doing here. Now, if I have to fix this, I can fix it. All right. That's one side, I think. Let's see what this other side is doing. And I want to cut this down to where it's this part is away from that buckle. Okay, let me get that off. Okay. All right. I'm hoping you guys can see this. It is a little tedious now, I'll just tell you. But I think the end result is going to be very nice. Now, I don't want you right now. I'm sorry. Now, when I get done with this live, she won't have nothing to do with me. All righty then. So, now, I'm going to work on down here bringing that. Now, see, that feels to me. That one needs to go. You can fill it. As you're working with it, you'll be able to fill it. That needs to go down just a tad more. I'm thinking even a little tad more. You can always cut off more, but you can't add it, can't you? Well, kind of in transfers, you can though, because as you can match the pattern, it's kind of like wallpaper. Those of us who've worked with wallpaper, remember when wallpaper was the big thing? Well, my son, who is an interior designer, said, Mom, you'll love it because wallpaper's coming back. <laughs> Hi, Pam. And Sandy, so glad you guys joined. We are putting a transfer 
This is a Christmas gift. Prima is going to be offering these purses. As far as I know, that's kind of what I heard coming down the pike, is that the retailers might be carrying these purses soon. And they are really, really nice, you guys. Very nice. Okay. Now let's work this and see what we've got here. Okay. It's a little tedious. Now, I'll show you on the next one that what we can do, you, there's two ways to do this. You can do like I'm doing right now and doing a whole piece on this whole front. Or you could cut up your flowers like we do uh, for our pictures or for our pieces. We cut up our flowers. Okay, now I can already see I am going to have to add a piece, and that is okay. Just the way this came out around this buckle. I didn't know exactly how well that buckle, I would be able to work around the buckle. I tried to think of ways to do it. This is the way I came up with doesn't always mean that it works, does it? But thankfully, these transfers are so workable that it's very easy to fix. Famous last words. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this down just for a minute, and then I'll show you as I rub... I want this this to adhere well. And then I'll show you how we're going to fix this right behind this buckle. Almost. Sorry, you guys. I could turn you this way so you can see. Have you guys even thought about Christmas? I mean, we haven't even gotten to Halloween yet. And this year, my Christmas is going to probably be in a new home. I've lived here for 30 years. And any of you who are around the Ohio area, I'm gonna be selling a ton. Of furniture because I cannot move it, all of it. All right. All right. So let's take this off now. That didn't work too bad. I'm going to just take this off here on the edges here. Get this up here. It didn't work. It didn't. It wasn't too bad, you guys. Look. I mean, that looks like. It was made on here, doesn't it? It does not look like a transfer. If you could see it and feel it, it allows, it allows the leather, the softness of the leather. You guys, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty impressed. Isn't that pretty? I really, really like it. Okay, so now here we've got a boo-boo. We got a boo-boo right here. Can you see around that buckle? We've got a boo-boo right here around this. This is so close to the color of this that you can't even hardly see that. Here you can see it a little more, here a little bit. But you can't even hardly see, you guys, that it's missing. Um, wow, that's pretty awesome. You like it? Okay, so now we've got this on. So how do we fix that? So let's find a piece of this transfer. And let me fill down here. So I've got this piece left on the top. 
So what I'm going to do is try to find something that looks similar. It doesn't have to look the same. You're not gonna be able to tell it at all. So let's see. Maybe, maybe I might just add that right there. That would be cool. That'd be real cool. I'm just going to add another design here. So you've got these spokes here. I'm going to add a little spoke right there. I think that would, let's, let's bring it right there. Let's see if that covers. Yes, it does. That's going to cover our little boo-boo and make it look like it was meant to be that way. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut this around like this and just put this little half wheel on. Maybe. All right, so I've got that off. Now you can see, I'm just gonna fit that in just like that. And then I'm going to rub it. I'm amazed how this is doing on this leather. Wow, you guys, this really opens up a lot of things you could do with older purses that are messed up, but they're good purses. They're just leather. Okay, so look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. See, this is the other part of this, and I've got another kind of a half wheel thing right here. And maybe if we put this on this side, trying to make them look. All righty, let's see. Now the problem with this one Okay, here's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm gonna cut this little piece right here because it kind of goes down. I wanna show you where you can see it. You can see right there, it kind of goes down here where the transfer and then right here. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna fix both of those sides and I think I want a lot smaller. This might go over here to fix this side, right there. This might go, look good, right there. Okay, now I'm going to rub those in. Just want to be gentle with the transfer that's around it. So I think you could easily, easily, easily fix this or um, seal this with a wax. A wax would look wonderful. Okay, so this one, I think I'm going to bring this down like this and bring it right along that line. So you can see it's, it's very, forgiving. You don't have to worry too much about what you're doing, honestly. Wow. All right, you guys, there you go. There's that side. Isn't that cool? I think it looks gorgeous too, Sheila. You know, I mean, can't you see a younger girl? My daughter's about, you know, 27. I could see her carrying this and thinking it was cool. What do you think? I think it's really cool. I really, really like it. Okay, so that's one. Now, you've got, sometimes when you put, a, I wanted to show you this. Sometimes when you put a transfer on, 
Um, this comes up a lot when you put a transfer on. Some of those of us who've worked a lot with them, we know what happens with them. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the cracking right there. A little bit of cracking right here. Now, if that bothered me, I could go through and get this color paint, kind of a navy color paint, and I could fill that in. Actually, on this, I think it looks really good. It doesn't bother me at all. Actually, I think it leans, lends really, really well to the look of the purse. And I think I made a good decision in covering these. You know, because this is what they look like here. Let me show you. So it went from this to this. How cool is that? I think that's awesome. Okay, so now I've got a blue purse. This is a cobalt blue purse. Again, this is leather. Genuine leather right here. The little tag is genuine leather. Okay, it's the exact same kind as that other purse, uh, as the first purse. And they've got quite a few um, different things of them that I liked real well. Now, so you can go, that's more of a geometric type look. Now, you can do a plethora of things, you guys. You could take, I was looking at, let me see, I almost did this on this one. I thought it was really, really cool. You know, you could do something like that. You could take this, this purse and make it into a um, USA purse. You know, I really like that. And that would cover up that cobalt blue. So don't feel like if you've got a color, maybe you've got a purse that you like to carry, but it doesn't really look that good anymore, or maybe you wish it was a different color, or maybe you, you know, whatever is wrong with it. You could use a transfer, you guys, and totally make it a brand new thing. I mean, wouldn't that look good on this purse? That would look good. You have got, if you wanna do something easy, You've got patterns like this. This is floral collection. You've got patterns like this that you could just come in and build you flowers uh, wherever you want them. That one would be really, really easy to do. You would just rub those flowers on there. Uh, there's, you know, there's so many of them in this transfer. You could easily transfer, transform this purse just by doing little bits of transfers like this, you know, and, and that would, for a newbie, if you're new and you've never used transfers and you go, oh my goodness, that would scare me to death to do that, then what you could do is you could get one of these transfers that is just a plethora of different florals and do something like that. That would be very, very, very easy to do for someone who is a little of afraid of, of using something like this. Okay, you've got that transfer, and let me look for, what did I do with, oh, there it is. So there is that one. I'm put the lid back on it. I'm not gonna use this. You've also got the birds. You could put birds on here. You could use your postal birds, or you could use any of the bird things that um, Prima has, and that would be really pretty on here, wouldn't it? So you also got the butterflies. You've got these butterflies that you could put wherever you wanted. You guys, there's so many things you could do with this. Here you've got, like I was thinking this one would look really pretty on the pink one and that's probably maybe what I'll do for myself. Um, so this one, I chose this because it's got the darker um, blues and it's got a little bit of that cobalt but this is already almost cut out. So what I wanna do 
now is show you, now I could cut these flowers out individually and I could put them anywhere that I wanted to on this purse. But I think what I'm going to do on this one because I felt like, let me see, let me put this up here. I've got to trim this off up here. I've got to trim that off up there. So let's just go ahead. It looks round about where I need to be. Let's see. Yep, that's round about where I need to be. Uh, I think that I'm just going to lay this where it lays and let it, I think that needs to be trimmed off just a tad. And then I'm gonna come over here and see where this is gonna lay. Now, if you wanted to, you could, let's try it this way. Instead of making a pattern, let's experiment a little bit. This is how easy these patterns are to work with. Let's experiment a little bit. So I want this right here. Just gonna run that up there. Now, if you don't press real hard, and that's the problem with this stupid plastic, but I hate to take it off because it is gonna be a gift. So, all right, so I'm gonna have to cut this off just a tad. I'm gonna cut it like that. See if that lays. All right. Now we know so let's see how this is laying over here. We want this to lay like this, like so. So it's kind of, I always like to work from one area up to the next area and then cut once I get to that area, then I like to cut what I want to cut off. I'm just going to rub it. Now, if I wanted to, what might be cool, I think that would be cool. I'm going to let this, you guys, come over and lay right here. Won't that be cool? It'll just kind of go over on this cream. That's kind of cool. So, let your imagination kind of take you where you want to be. So, I'm just going to kind of rub this and see if I can't get this off as the first, let me get this rubbed. It's actually coming off really, really well. Feels like it. I'll make a liar of me. You ever taken your kids to the doctor and you've said, oh my goodness, they're running a, a huge temperature. I'm so worried about them. And then they take their temperature and it's normal. It makes you feel like you're lying. <laughs> so I want this writing to come on off too. So I'm going to work that. It actually works really well on this leather. I'm, I've not done this before you guys. So I'm pleasantly surprised at how easy these transfers are rubbing off on this leather. Now I do believe it helps to put a hard surface underneath them like we did on that other one. So I might do that once I get this rubbed off. You know, and that's awesome that you can take things off of one transfer and add something with it or go to a totally different transfer. You don't have to use the same transfer you can mix and match these transfers too. And that makes it fun. All right, Ian. All right, so let's get this around here. Let me get this where you guys can see. I'm just gonna rub this. that I'm a big proponent of hand painting things. 
and making things work. Um, if they don't work, you can make them work, can't you? So if something comes up on this that I'm not real happy about, I can always go in and I can always hand paint it to match. So I'm gonna let this go around this corner. I like that look. Now this just peeled off on that, on there. I'm not worried about it at all. I'm gonna cut this off. So I'm gonna cut that off. I'm not gonna worry about that that got onto that plastic. No biggie. It's only a transfer. And then I want to cut this off up here. Okay. This is working so good. I bet I could even use my hands. We'll see. You could also put your hands behind it, maybe, and give it a little bit of help, too. I've got a friend of mine. I think I'm going to use this as her birthday slash Christmas gift. You guys, I mean, that is looking like it was made on there. I mean, it really, really, really does. I am digging it. I love it. Now, with your transfers, as you work with them, you will see them as they lift. They kind of get translucent a little bit. And once they start doing that, you kind of know that that has transferred onto that. So that uh, kind of makes it easy. Sometimes if you get air bu bubbles kind of underneath your transfer, it does help them transfer easier too. So you can see this is a quick, easy way of making a personalized gift, whether it be for Christmas, a birthday, uh, whatever that would be, it's an easy way to make something that you can say, hey, I did this for you, and that makes it special, I think, to other people. Hi, Arlene, how are you? I'm loving how these transfers are looking on this leather. I really, to be honest with you, I mean, I've seen other ambassadors do them and stuff, but, and they look great on camera, but in person, you guys, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. They look better than I thought that they would look. Honestly, they do. They are looking really, really good. Can't wait to get this one off so I can show you. And then we'll see what we wanna do about this area up here. We might want to leave that blue coming through a little bit, or we might want to do something else to it. It's okay. You can you can design things as you go. I do all the time. That's mainly how I do things. I start off with an idea, but then that idea morphs, and I just let the piece take me where it wants to go. I just let my design instincts just have creativity and the freedom to create, that's when you come up normally with your best stuff. Okay. You can just see them just kind of rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. 
Wow, that is pretty amazing. Honestly, it is very amazing. That this transfer would adhere so well. So well to this leather. Me and my daughter, she works in leather. She's an equestrian, and she was saying, Mom, you can't use a transfer on leather. I said, well, I'm going to try it. I'm thinking I can. I use them on about everything. <laughs> she said, I, don't, I just don't think you can do that. And I said, sure you can do it. So she'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, let's flip this set. Then you want to gently just kind of rub over your areas to make sure that everything is, a, is adhered well and that there's no bubbles or anything like that. Okay, so here you can see I've got my transfer off. I'm just going to take it and lift and clean that up a little bit. Okay. You could actually probably sand it a little bit if you wanted to. Okay, so look at that. Doesn't that look like it's always been there? And look at that. Isn't that cool? You guys, I am loving it. Just absolutely loving it. And I think I kind of like a little bit of that blue showing through. Now, the one thing that I think that I could do that I think would make me maybe like it a little better and I already like it. Um, Prima has a lot of these little pots and um, I'm trying to look at what this is. This is metal metalliquic. I, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's an acrylic and it's it's got metallic. It's it's a little metallic. And um, they've also got their impasto paints. That is awesome. I love them. I'm going to use a little bit of a metallic. Uh, let's see what else I've got. There is here is a linen color in the impasto paints. And I just want just a tad. So I'll show you what you can do. Here's another one of the metallics, and it's Kind of cool, look at that color. Isn't that pretty? And we're gonna take these, I think. And here's another really pretty blue. Isn't that pretty? And this this is the metallic, metallic um, by Prima, Alchemy Art is what this is. It's the alchemy. This is, this one, this one, green one was Sparks. This is, um, the art alchemy. Okay, so I'm going to get a little brush, and I really was looking for a different color. Um, this is an impasto paint, so I'm going to take a little bit of this color, and um, I've got my nine colors. Let me look around here. A green color that I thought I brought that was kind of a sagey. Here it is. I love this color and it's called Victorian green. It's just the prettiest color green. Just very, very pretty. So look, so here we've got this area up here. So I'm thinking I'm going to take a little bit. Let's see how that a little, so we need it a little darker, don't we? Let's see what that does. Still need it darker. Uh, let's see, maybe. There we go. All right, so you can see right here where this isn't quite rounded. Now I could go ahead and I could get some more of the uh, paint, or I'm sorry, more of the uh, transfer and use that. 
or I could come in here and, um, you know, maybe come up here and just do some little squigglies or, you know, make this look. No, I don't have any water with me. Okay. Normally I do water and get that going really well. Well, that's not working too good. Okay, so when one thing fails, we try another, don't we? Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, so you could round it out. You can do a lot of plethora of things to make this look more hand painted, to make it look a little more, maybe we want to bring a leaf up here. Just make that where that used to be, just make that into a leaf. Maybe add a little bit of that blue. Um, there's so many things you guys that you can do that will make your piece I'm just gonna bring this, round this around here. Okay, let me get a little bit of this white. Oh, it's not white, it's a linen color, so it's very, maybe go here, bring this up. Here comes the cat again. Are you telling me I'm going too long, baby? All right, we're almost done, baby. There you go. All righty then. So you can just kind of see, you guys, you can add what you want to add. You can do what you want to do on these pieces. All I'm going to do is go through here and just add a little bit of this cobalt color into a little around here. Sometimes where um, your transfer ends and you've got just a tad bit of that halo effect, I like to go in and number one, it's going to seal this transfer in a lot better. Um, and it's also going to make the transfer look hand painted. And I love that look. I love the transfers as they are, but I also love the hand painted look. And all that's doing is coming in, taking a little bit of that halo effect out. And I love the impasto paints. I really do. They are awesome. If you've never tried them, you probably should order you some. Now, I want to make sure that right around here, I can see that's lifting a little bit. So I want to take my finger and make sure that that is down really well. Now, you cannot see where that transfer ends, and I could before. So, uh, it's all according to how, to how much you want to do, how much you want to spend uh, on this. You don't have to. It looked beautiful without doing anything, but I think just by doing a little bit of this, I'm sealing in those edges with paint, and I'm also taking away the halo effect. Now, let me get that up there where you guys can see it. So you can see. There's a lot of things, you guys, that you can do with these Prima transfers. I'm just gonna come in here with, with this on this side, and I'm gonna round that petal out a little bit, just so that seals that in and there's no halo on that petal, okay? So there you go. We have transformed two purses. Let me get the other one for those of you who may not have seen it. We've transformed two purses in a matter of 55 minutes, okay? So you can see they're totally, hey Nancy, how are you? 
uh, just joined. Are you going to post this? Yes, I am. This will be posted. So we've gotten two totally different looks on these leather purses in about 50 minutes. So I've gotten two gifts done in less than an hour. So that's pretty cool. Now, I could put some on this side too if I wanted to. Um, I'm not for sure if I will or not. Um, because most of the time we carry a purse going out, so I don't know that it's needful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, and if you haven't liked my page, go over to Ransom Relics. Uh, um, it's Ransom Relics Designs, and I'm Carolyn Muncy. I'm glad you joined us. And you guys have a blessed night. And um, I'm sure that I will be on here again this month, not the coming, not this coming Friday, but the following fr Friday, which is the 30th. I will be back on here with, with more tips and more ideas with Prima Designs, right? All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed night.